Someone once said, if you know one religion, you don't know any. All of the world is at Princeton, and that means we have all the world's religious communities at Princeton too. The Office of Religious Life is the spiritual center of Princeton University. The motto that we have is that we are a place for all. And we really take that seriously and we work on it really hard. One of the things I'm most proud about with the Office of Religious Life here at Princeton is how widely it serves students from a variety of different religious backgrounds. They're one of the first to include Muslim and Hindu chaplains. They're one of the only ones that focus on not only religious life, but also secular perspectives on meaning making and transcendence. We really aim for the program here to be, in so many ways, a home away from home for our students. And in some cases, that's quite literal. We have students whose families are oceans away. And so one of the things we try to do is to offer a space that they can reconnect with those aspects of who they are and what their traditions and what their family and their culture means to them. The Office of Religious Life offers a vital counterpart to all of the academic stuff that we're doing. Being on a campus like Princeton where time is at such a premium, where there's such an energy of competition, of achievement, I'm always just struck by how hungry students are for spaces in which they can just be real and lean into those questions of meaning and of purpose. Two things which allow students to be engaged in a very special way. One is that we believe in the culture of conversation. This is a great space for interfaith dialogue between students and faculty and staff. And so the Office of Religious Life allows opportunities for interfaith, intergenerational conversations. We're asking people to not just attend and listen, but to be in conversation with both the presenters and themselves. And they find themselves just having organic conversations with one another, the kind of conversation that you think you've come to university to have, but then find out actually you kind of have to work on it and be intentional about it. And the second part of the culture is hospitality. We really believe in the ministry of hospitality. Just about any hour of the day you can come and find some food here. There's a lot of spiritual ritual that goes around eating and then the building of fellowship. It's amazing to see students gathered and enjoying a community barbecue or visiting each other's celebrations, whether students are coming to us for Shabbat dinner, we might go to a Diwali celebration or to an iftar with the Muslim community. Our job at the Office of Religious Life is to be sensitive to the religious diversity that's here, to create space for particular religious traditions as well as different religious traditions that encounter each other. The opportunity to engage productively with people whose values and beliefs are different from your own, I think that's pivotal to what happens at any institution. Anyone who fears God. Everything about this place creates opportunities for us to engage with one another. And I think Murray Dodge is really a space where students feel like they can walk in, be themselves, and feel at home. When you walk in, it's just kind of... <sighs> there's something about Murray Dodge, there's something about the chapel that pulls all those faith communities together into one community. The chapel itself is incredibly special. It's very unusual for a college campus to have a chapel that looks like this and feels like this. This amazing sacred space at Princeton University has quite literally opened its door to people of all faiths. Being able to have all those spaces has been pretty important to feeling heard and feeling understood in the hecticness of the world and of campus life. You are not just a brain that's thinking in academics. Your whole self can show up to your Princeton experience. We bring in speakers. The Dalai Lama has come to campus through us. President Jimmy Carter is another person. 
We take students abroad on trips all over the world to see the role of religion in those countries and particularly the role of religion in social change. We also run an internship program that brings students to the United Nations. We work with refugees and refugee resettlement agencies from around the country. And so from our perspective, religion is what you'd imagine religion to be. And it's also everything else and the way that religion encounters it. Our religious leaders on campus are people who are compassionate, who care, and who really want to make not just the Office of Religious Life and its constituent faith communities, but the whole campus a place where we can come together across those differences to know one another, to love one another, and to work with one another to make the world better. I would really encourage students to reach out to the chaplains. They're here to talk with students, and I don't doubt that a friendship will emerge from that. My greatest joy is to interact with students on this campus. They bring life and vitality. They also challenge me with their questions. And so it helps me to be a better pastor, a better theologian. I feel that we journey together here, that I'm not just leading them, but we're leading each other. I don't consider myself to be a member of a particular religious tradition, but I would want incoming students to know that this office is very inclusive in the religious sense of people coming from all faith backgrounds, no faith background. And so if you're looking to come to Princeton University, know that you can bring your entire story, your authentic self into this space, and your religious identity or your spiritual identity in every way. As you come into a space of discovering who you are as a young adult in this world, where is there a place at Princeton that you can tune in to others who are asking some of the same questions? And I would say, start at the Office of Religious Life and see what routes it opens for you. You're gonna come out of it thinking that this is the best part of your Princeton experience as much as I thought and think of it today. My hope for ORL is to help people articulate for themselves what they believe and how they want that to impact how they live in the world.